scallops, crabs, manatees, everything else that, that lives here. You know, we've got bird wildlife up the river, out on the Gulf. So it's just a, it's a beautiful habitat. There are plenty of big ones out there to keep in June. You just had to move around and work harder to find them. As captains, we would not, no captain, there are, there's not one captain that I know of here that kept anything small. I mean, I'm talking two inches or smaller. None of us kept those. 90% of the captains in this yeah, town say, are very much into conservation. Yeah. And Long right, Mr. Down, holding up progress. And uh, they, they come encounter with those. So yeah. a mango is written up more for a citation than any other fish in the world. I hope y'all like snapper. Because they keep under the <laughs> 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 Just what do you do about a multi hundreds of billion dollar industry in the country? Uh, you know, it's powerful. The boating industry, the sportsmen, all the tackle. But I feed the restaurants and the retail outlets, okay? And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a way of life also. When they zero in, they're able to ID whether that fish had the bladder sticking out, mm -hmm. whether his eyes were popped out, what species it is. Mm -hmm. They're still working on the size deal because that takes a lot of time. That's truly yeah. AI capability. <coughs> but this has to be on when I start fishing in the morning. I agreed to 12 hours. So you sign a contract that you'll give them 12 hours of camera footage. Oh. And uh, I'm going to talk about my area. Mm -hmm. I, I work the what they call the armpit. Like I was yeah. just in New Orleans yeah. with people from Sea Grant about Amberjack, and I was picked because I represent basically Panama City to Cedar Key. Yeah, I can tell you what's going on because I talk to all these guys and I see it plus I'm fishing. And uh, but we got to get a handle on because this area, uh, it's not so much the Taylor County and Perry area, but Steen Hatchie, mm -hmm. or people are coming here. Yeah, now they got four outboards on a boat going 75 miles an hour. Being out 150 miles in two hours. 150 takes me 15 hours at 10 knots. Yeah. The way the animal, she has this, you measure the animal. And, and all these envelopes are the different samples of otoliths. So all the data is in that envelope. The weight, the weight, the size, the species, and uh, this is how she does it. Yeah, randomly. If it's a small yeah, yeah, yeah. offload, sometimes I'll do every fish. What do you say? If it's a small offload, sometimes I'll do every fish. That's where you're getting the boat to go look at? Yeah, so up beneath and behind the brain is this capsule here. You can hardly see it, but it's like a cartilage capsule, essentially, a bony capsule that if you pop it open, the ototh is going to be sitting inside. And it's fluid filled and lined with tiny little hairs. And as the fish moves in the water, the ototh bumps against those tiny little hairs and gives them a direction, kind of like how our eardrums function. That's it.
Oh, the really yeah, tricky yeah. thing, like this whole system, if they had more fish than they had shares in their account, they could transfer shares from the main account that there's still applicable shares there and bring them over to you. So basically, we're more or less showing up, they don't know when we show up, to keep them on. Usually they will have someone, a buyer, okay? So it will go straight into these uh, freezer trucks and they have ice in these boxes. They will separate it by species and then they will take it to the fish houses. Wholesalers, uh, based on the regulations, only wholesalers can buy directly from the fishermen. And then the retailers can only buy from wholesalers. So it's a, uh, it's a wholesaler.